This is Infinite Craft, a game where you can craft literally anything. And yes, I mean anything. All you have to do is combine two things together, and the possibilities are infinite. You start out with four basic elements, but as you start crafting, you start to make more and more until your screen is filled with all sorts of things. You can go from making a pumpkin spice army to accidentally crafting the entire Donkey Kong franchise. There's no end goal to this game, because it truly is infinite, so I decided to come up with a challenge. Can me and my friends craft all 89 Smash Bros characters in Infinite Craft? Well, it might sound easy at first, but let me just tell you that this was incredibly difficult. You can spend hours of trial and error just to get one single character, but nevertheless, let me show you how it's possible and how we completed the entire roster. Alright, before we start crafting the actual fighters from Smash, let me give you a rundown on how we got started. In Infinite Craft, the game uses AI to determine what the two things mixed together would form. For example, combining water and fire makes steam, combining fire and steam makes engine, and combining two engines together makes rocket. This process can go on forever. Now that we know how the game works, the first thing we want to do is create game, and this can be done by crafting fun and fight together. In order to get fun, we have to combine party with anything that can also be considered fun, like a barbecue. I also want to note that while we were doing this, we accidentally made literally the biggest word I've seen in Infinite Craft. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy I'm scared. You also can craft fight by combining two things related to violence, like war and battle. After crafting the two into game, this is where the gateway into creating the entire Smash Bros. roster starts. To get our first character, Mr. Super Duper Wahoo Video Game himself, we need to craft Nintendo, which is literally just combining game in Japan. Then, by combining Nintendo and Plant, we get our first character for the challenge and the first character in the entire series, Mario. Now that we have Mario, we can use him to craft Super Smash Bros. itself by combining him with the word Brawl. And by adding even more Marios, we can create Smash Melee. Repeating this over and over will make all five Smash games in the franchise, which we will all use to help complete the challenge. From this point, we start crafting all the easy-to-get characters, like Yoshi, which you get by combining Mario and Lizard. Makes sense, right? If you combine specific words with the Smash Bros block, sometimes you'll just straight-up craft a new character. Some of them make complete sense, such as Plant making Piranha Plant, Duck making Duck Hunt, and Robot making Brob. Sometimes they don't make sense, like for some reason, crafting Angel with Smash makes Lucario, and I'm not a Pokemon fan, but I don't think that's an angel. Also, apparently, crafting Satan with Smash makes Bayonetta, which I guess makes sense if you think about it. What you need to know is that some of these combinations don't make a lot of sense. Is Captain Falcon what? Canadian? What the f Today oh, I learned. No. He's American through and through. Today He's I a learned. God. After creating a few characters, for some reason, my friend Zack really wanted to get Donkey Kong. So we ended up crafting King Kong and Nintendo together. Once we did that, we combined two Donkey Kongs together to form Diddy Kong. And yes, if you're curious, you can make the entire Kong family if you keep combining Kongs. Now that we've made these Kongs, we've crafted 10 characters so far, and progress is looking great. Moving on, we got both Earthbound characters right after crafting Ness with Smash and Cupid, again, I don't know why, and Lucas by, uh, crafting Ness and Birthday Smash. I mean, if it works, it works. And I don't know if this is any better, but combining Fish and Smash gets you... Pikachu. I was trying to get Inkling, by the way. Even though Pikachu is a mouse and not a fish, this is great, because by crafting Pikachu and Party, we can make Pokemon itself and start making some of the Pokemon fighters. Crafting two Pikachus together makes Pichu, and crafting Pokemon with Smash makes Pokemon Trainer. But we also wanted to get the three Pokemon fighting for Pokemon Trainer as well, Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard. Combining Water with Pokemon gets Squirtle, and combining Fire with Pikachu gets Charizard. To get Ivysaur, you have to craft Bulbasaur with Plant and Pokemon, and just combine two Bulbasaurs together. After that, we started crafting some of the Super Mario characters as well. 
Crafting Turtle with Mario gets Koopa, and Crafting Koopa with Mario again gets Bowser. Additionally, Crafting Bowser with Smash gets Bowser Jr. Now is probably a good time to talk about one of our main strategies for crafting characters. If we somehow can't craft a character through obvious ways, the next best thing to do is to craft that character's original game. We did this first with Rosalina, because we were struggling to find a way to make her. Using Mario in space, we were able to craft Super Mario Galaxy, and that allowed us to craft her by combining it with Princess. Don't worry, we didn't forget Luma either. After doing the same strategy with Wii Fit to get Wii Fit Trainer, and Punch Out to get Little Mac, while we were in the middle of crafting, we had the sudden realization that we had already made one of the characters, Cloud. I mean, technically. Well, since we wanted to be specific, we crafted Cloud with Smash to get Cloud Strife, and immediately right after, we decided to make Cloud's best friend as well, Sephiroth. So far, we've completed about a quarter of the roster, but we still have a long way to go. At this point in the challenge, I realized I was going to need some more help, because there are some characters that I know absolutely nothing about, like the entirety of Fire Emblem. I decided to ask my friend Fire Emblem Fan 55 to help me. And yes, that's his actual name, he was born like that, and I'm so sorry for him. Anyways, Beat, I mean Fire Emblem Fan 55, helped me craft all eight Fire Emblem characters, starting with Marth by combining Love and Smash Melee. Next, I accidentally crafted Lucina by combining Smash and Devil, and I accidentally crafted Roy by combining Marth and Lucina together. You can craft Robin by combining Phoenix and Lucina, and you can craft Krom by combining Robin and Fire Emblem. That should give you... Why is Krom a rainbow? Because he's gay. Yeah, he's he's according gay. to Fire Emblem canon, it can actually go either way. Moving on, crafting Dragon and Marth makes Ike, which, according to Beat, is the one Fire Emblem character that isn't a dragon. To get the last two, it was a bit of a long process, but essentially, we had to craft Fire Emblem Fates and Fire Emblem Three Houses, which are the two games Korin and Byleth are from. This can be done by just combining Fire Emblems together until you get the one you want. Once we got all the Fire Emblem characters, we started crafting new ones like crazy, so I'm going to be quick when talking about them. Starting off, we got Fox, Falco, and Wolf by crafting Star Fox with different things. Next, we got the Belmonts by crafting Dracula and Castlevania with Smash. Finally, we got Ice Climbers with Avalanche and Smash, Sora with Kingdom Hearts and Human, and Mewtwo with Alien and Pokemon. We then decided to start crafting entire franchises from Smash to make things cleaner, starting with The Legend of Zelda with, fittingly, Zelda. With Zelda, we were able to basically make everyone, combining her with Knight to make Link, Demon to make Ganon, and Smash Melee to make Sheik. The exception was that we had to craft Link and Smash Brawl to get Toon Link. And now we have all of the Legend of Zelda characters. Except for one. Okay, so for some reason, I could not craft a young Link for the life of me, so I promise I'll come back and won't forget about him. Probably. Next, we used King to craft the two Kings in Smash, King K. Rule with Smash Ultimate, and King DDD with Smash Brawl. Using King DDD, we can make the rest of the Kirby fighters easily, crafting Star with DDD to make Kirby, and crafting Kirby with Smash Brawl to make Meta Knight. After that, we tried getting the rest of the Pokemon we were missing, like Greninja, so we tried to craft him, but ended up with someone else. Have you made Ninja yet? It... What? what? Well, now that we have Samus, albeit accidentally, we can now make the rest of the Metroid fighters. Combining Samus with Smash Brawl makes Zero Suit Samus, and combining Samus with Evil makes, surprise surprise, Dark Samus. We tried crafting Dark Samus with Demon and Samus before, but that gave us Metroid instead. Luckily, we can use Metroid to combine it with Smash Ultimate to make Ridley. Before I move on, I need to mention I got a few extra characters as well. I crafted Joker by combining Batman and Joke, and before you say this doesn't count because it's Joker from Batman, not Persona, it doesn't matter anyway, because crafting him with Smash Ultimate makes Joker, in parentheses, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Speaking of Batman, I also got Dark Pit by crafting Dark Knight and Smash together, but for whatever reason, I couldn't get Pit or Politana. Lastly, I crafted Phoenix Wright. 
I know he's not in Smash, but I really wish he was, and he's here to block the reset button, just in case I accidentally restart like an idiot. Now we're over halfway done with the roster, but things are starting to get more difficult. So far, we've spent about two hours crafting Smash Bros. characters, and I know this is going by faster than it seems, but that's because I'm simplifying it all into this video. But, for the sake of this challenge, we kept going. We've gone too far for us to stop anyway. Moving forward, we crafted Pac-Man using Ghosts and Game, and then we used Pac-Man with Robot to craft Mega Man. We then decided to complete the rest of the Super Mario characters, starting with Peach, and using Peach in Smash Ultimate, we made Daisy. Now, we have regular Mario, but what about educated Mario? To get Dr. Mario, we had to craft, unsurprisingly, Dr. and Mario, but the process to get Dr. was tedious. We spent basically half an hour trying to craft medicine, which after finally crafting marijuana and relief, our dream was made a reality. Now, we have Dr. Mario, but what about Evil Mario? Wario was also a bit tricky as well. We made him by crafting WarioWare and Human, but in order to do that, we had to combine Mario and Party to make Mario Party, and then combine Mario Party with Garlic to make Minigame, and then combine Minigame with Nintendo to make WarioWare. A lot of the characters going forward are going to take more time to craft than usual. Unless they're Hero, who I made by accidentally crafting Marth and War. Which again, if it works, it works. Right after, I crafted Snake by combining Medicine and Lizard. But here's where I should bring up a problem regarding some fighters. With characters like Snake and Hero, their names are pretty generic. Don't get me wrong, Snake is an awesome name, but in the context of Infinite Craft, you could argue we crafted Snake the Animal and not Snake the Metal Gear character. So here's my solution to this problem. It doesn't matter. Look, that's just how they were named, and if the block we crafted has the same name as their Smash name, we count it. Moving on, we got some of the missing Pokémon, Jigglypuff and Greninja, by crafting Balloon with Pokémon, and Froki with Squirtle. To get Balloon, you have to combine Air with Party, and to get Froki, Greninja's first pre-evolution, you need to combine Frog and Pokémon. Next, we crafted a few more characters, starting with Banjo-Kazooie and Sonic by combining Musician and Sega with Smash Ultimate. We then crafted the Animal Crossing characters, Villager and Isabel, by combining Animal Crossing with their own debut Smash games, Smash Wii U and Ultimate. Oh yeah, I also got Steve in the most random way possible. I was just throwing things together when somehow I combined Billionaire with Obsidian to get Minecraft and Minecraft with Billionaire to get Steve. I'm sure there was an easier way to do that, but at least he's here now. Now we have started to reach the very difficult characters, like Shulk and Pyramithra. Since none of us know anything about these characters, or even anything about Xenoblade, trying to craft them took forever. Luckily, my friend Zack came up with an idea. What if we crafted the word Rex? You see, the main character of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is named Rex. None of us know anything about him other than the fact that his name is Rex, but if we can craft Rex, we can probably craft a Xenoblade, and Zack knew exactly how. If we make a T-Rex and craft it with Smash Ultimate, we can just get the single word Rex. By crafting Rex and, a uh, Fire Emblem, we can make Xenoblade. And by crafting Xenoblade with Smash Wii U and Ultimate, we have made Shulk and Pyra Mithra. Moving on, the next two franchises we needed to finish were Street Fighter and Kid Icarus. For Ryu, we had to combine Street Fighter and Human. For some reason, Ken was incredibly difficult, and I actually kept crafting other Street Fighter characters instead of him. You need to specifically combine Ryu and Fighter to make Hadouken, and then combine two Hadoukens to make a Shoryuken, and once you have a Shoryuken, combining that with Smash Ultimate makes Ken. Next, we needed Pit and Politana. Unfortunately, having Dark Pit already doesn't do anything, so we had to craft Icarus with Smash Brawl to make regular Pit, and Kid Icarus Uprising with Smash Wii U to make Politana. Inkling, surprisingly, was one of the most infuriating characters to make. I managed to craft Splatoon, Squid, Calamari, hell even Squidward, and I still couldn't craft Inkling, no matter what combination I did. It's like the game was purposefully trying to stop us from crafting her. 
However, thanks to the help of Boom Dachau on Twitter, we discovered that one of the only ways to get Inkling was to combine Splatoon with Dark Link? I can't even contemplate why nothing else worked except for that. Mr. Game & Watch was even worse. I haven't talked about him yet, but we started trying to craft him since the very beginning of the game. We tried using the word flat, because he's, you know, flat, but all that got us was Flat Zone, which, if you don't know, is the name of the Game & Watch stage in Smash Bros. Somehow, we crafted Mr. Game & Watch's stage before crafting the actual fighter. Of course, Boom Dachau saved us again, discovering that in order to make Mr. Game & Watch, all you had to do was craft Smash Melee and Rob. Sure, why not? Now with all those nuisances out of the way, we're so close to the end. We still have a bit more characters to craft, but with how far we've been doing, nothing can stop us. Oh crap, Young Link. I kinda forgot about him this far into the challenge. But don't worry, we figured out how to craft him. By combining Toon Link and Nostalgia, we made Young Link, and finally completed all the Legend of Zelda characters. Yay! We've come so far in this challenge. We've crafted 81 characters so far, and our screen is practically full of them all. We've spent so much time combining things over and over, and we show no sign of slowing down. We will keep going until we craft the last fighter. Nothing can stop us here. Absolutely nothing. And then my computer crashed. Yeah, so after crafting fighters for like, 8 hours, my computer decided to just give up. But it's okay, right? Well, I did all of those 8 hours of progress on guest mode for Chrome. So, essentially, none of our progress saved. But, like I've been saying, it doesn't matter. We will finish this challenge. It's time to craft what I would like to call the final eight. These eight characters are the last of the bunch, and presented challenges we haven't even faced yet. Regardless, let's keep going. The Mii Fighters are unique in the fact that they're not just Mii's, they're Mii Brawler, Mii Sword Fighter, and Mii Gunner. Trying to craft these specific classes of me will be incredibly difficult. How do we even make a regular me in the first place? Luckily, Sheikah Blight on Twitter shared their own routes they discovered, and was actually the first person in the world to craft the me fighters. Here's what we need to do. We need to trick the game into giving us a regular me by making a fat me exercise. Yes, I'm serious. One of the only known ways to craft a Mii is to first start by making Fit Mii, which is the very specific combination of Wee Baby and Fit You. Once you get this Fit Mii, you can combine it with Obese to make Fat Mii. And once we make the Fat Mii exercise with Fit, the game turns it into a regular Mii. By combining Mii into Smash Bros, we can get Mii Fighter, and from there, we finally crafted all three Mii Fighters, Mii Brawler, Mii Sword Fighter, and Mii Gunner. Next are the two remaining fighting game characters, Terry and Kazuya. In order to get these two, we had decided that we needed to craft fighting game, which we found by combining Street Fighter and video game. We managed to craft King of Fighters, one of the two main series Terry is playable in, but no matter what, every time we tried to craft him, we crafted Kyokusanagi instead, the main protagonist of KOF. We were stuck for a while, until I remembered that Terry is the main protagonist of a different fighting game, Garo, Mark of the Wolves. In order to craft Mark of the Wolves, we had to combine SNK and Arcade to make Neo Geo. Once we did that, combining Neo Geo with fighting game crafted Mark of the Wolves, and once you combine that with Ryu, you can finally craft Terry. Kazuya was a bit easier. We started by combining King of Fighters with Street Fighter to make Capcom vs SNK, and by adding Street Fighter to that again, you can make Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Combining Devil with Street Fighter Cross Tekken makes Devil Jin, and then combining Angel with Devil Jin makes Jin Kazama, Kazuya's son. Then, by combining Family and Jin, we crafted Kazuya. And I'm going to be completely honest, I don't know how we didn't get Olimar until the very end. He was incredibly easy to craft, combining Wii U and video game to make Wii U game, and then Wii U game with plant to make Pikmin 3. All we had to do was make a Pikmin game, and combine it with Smash Brawl to make Olimar. Well, congrats to him, I guess. Oh yeah, and then there's Min Min. She's probably the most irrelevant character out of anyone on the roster. No offense to any Min Min fans. 
She's a side character of a Switch exclusive game with the most generic title for a video game ever. So as you can imagine, she was annoying to craft. We tried using ramen and arms, but we would make zero progress. We even crafted Springman, the main mascot of Min Min's game, instead of her. But thankfully, T on Twitter figured out that if you combine 2020 with Smash Ultimate, somehow that crafts Min Min. I don't know what that implies, but I just want to thank T for not making me care any more than I had to for Min Min. But now, let me introduce you to, in my opinion, the hardest Smash Bros. character to make in Infinite Craft, and our final fighter of the challenge. Incineroar! You would think that crafting a popular Pokemon that's also a fire wrestler cat would be easy, right? Well, I did, and oh my god was I wrong. It's literally impossible to craft Incineroar in any normal way. We first started by trying to craft Incineroar's debut game, Pokemon Sun and Moon, with literally everything, but that didn't work. So then we tried combining Wrestler with everything, but that didn't work. And so we literally crafted the concept of a fire type from Pokemon and combined that with everything, but that didn't work. Every time I wanted to craft Incineroar, the game would somehow craft an entirely different fire type Pokemon. Which one is that? Arcanine! Arcanine? Huge? Oh, uh, that's the big dog it's from. A dog? Why did it make a dog out of cat and not the <laughs> cat? <laughs> <laughs> The game was literally like, oh, here's another final evolution starter fire type Pokemon that isn't Incineroar. Sometimes I think this game is just trying to mock me. It's gonna give you Charizard. <laughs> it's gonna give you Soul <laughs> It's even worse. However, my friend Fire Emblem Fan 55 had an idea. What if we combined Pokemon with Hawaii? You see, his idea was that in Pokemon Sun and Moon, the game takes place in a region called Alola, which is based on Hawaii. If we were to make Alola, we could probably craft Incineroar. And sure enough, by combining Hawaii and Pokemon Sun, we crafted Alola. But that wasn't enough. Alola kept making other Pokemon, so we had to take it one step further and make a first discovery. By combining Alola with Fire-type, we were the first people in the world to craft Alolan Fire-type. And by combining Alolan Fire-type with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I am so happy to say that after hours of crafting, after tons of characters combined, and after my computer crashed, we finally completed the challenge. Please. It's gonna give Please. you Fire Emblem. It's gonna give you Fire Emblem. <gasps> Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god. Yes! Oh my god. Let's go! Oh my god. I knew Hawaii would do it. I knew Hawaii oh would do it. God. I'm gonna cry. Camden! Yes! Thank you, Camden. Yes! yes. Camden! And so, me and my three friends, Zach, Koru, and Fire Emblem Fan 55, finally crafted all 89 Smash Bros. characters in Infinite Craft. Now we should speedrun. No, absolutely like that. not. That took three days. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching.